two kinds of polymers are identified thermoplasts and thermosets. So, we will look at these two kinds. So, polymers classified as thermoplasts and thermosets. Thermoplast is a polymer which softens on heating. In fact, the plast means plastic and plastic means moldability that they can be molded or shaped by heating and that is why the term thermoplast is used for such polymers. These thermoplasts usually will have long linear or branched molecules. We have seen the linear molecule, let us talk about branching. So, a linear molecule will have all carbon chains in one line, not necessarily straight line, we have talked about conformation. So, about every bond there is a possibility of rotation. So, it can take different shape in a space, but all carbon atoms are along one line, let us say in polyethylene, but sub and others are all hydrogen atoms, these are hydrogen atoms. So, I am placing hydrogen atom at all of them except one. If this hydro instead of a hydrogen atom here, suppose I place a carbon atom. So, this carbon atom will then start another branch of the polymer and we will call this a branched chain or a branched polymer. Others are still hydrogen. The other fact about these thermoplast is that there is only van der Waal bonding between the chains. What, what this means, let us uh, explain. The van der Waal bonding means, now I was drawing the carbon carbon, carbon carbon chain like this. with hydrogens hydrogens attached to the carbon this is the structure of polyethylene which we have discussed now for simplicity let me just draw the carbon backbone one way to simplify drawing these molecules to just draw the carbon carbon backbone and assume hydrogen to be attached wherever they are required. Still a simpler way is to just draw a line and assume that this is the carbon carbon backbone with hydrogens attached to it. So, this is one polymer chain and they, there can be another polymer chain in the same sample. So, this is chain 1, this is chain 2. Now, within the chain we are seeing that carbon carbon bonds are all covalent bonds, these are strong covalent bonds. These are called primary bonds. However, within this is within a chain across the chain between one chain to another chain. So, suppose there is a carbon atom here, so all its bond is satisfied and another carbon atom is here, all its bond are also satisfied. So, there is no primary bonding between this carbon and this carbon. So, they attract each other only through a secondary bond called the van der Waals bond. So, secondary van der Waals bond
between chains. So, if only sec secondary bonds like this is there, one chain is more or less free with respect to the other chain and can slide easily. So, the deformation of such polymers is easier. That is why when it is heated at high, higher temperature, the uh, molecular vibrations are sufficient to overcome these van der Waal bonds and one chain can slide with respect to the other chain and deformation or molding is possible. So, that is why these thermoplasts have only van der Waal bonds which actually gives them the plasticity. Also, there is no cross linking between the chains. So, if we think about the cross linking, let, let us talk about the cross linking. So, just like we saw that a carbon carbon chain can be there with hydrogen attached to um, satisfy all the four bonds. But if there is another carbon carbon chain and suppose there is a carbon carbon bridge between these two chains now instead of one of the hydrogen was replaced by carbon here and that bridge continues and connects with the other chain. So, this is let us say chain 1. this is chain 2 and this will be what will be called a cross link. You can see any such cross link will prevent the easy sliding of the two molecules, because if one molecule uh, wants to slide the other molecule will hold it through the cross link. So, it is much more difficult to deform such cross linked polymers. What I have shown here is an internal cross link made up of same polymer chain as the original polymer, but you can have and we will see one example later in rubber where if there is one macromolecule of rubber and another macromolecule of rubber. So, it is a rubber chain. one and this is the chain 2, then a process of vulcanization happens where using an external chemical element in this case sulfur you can have a cross link. So, here is a cross link by an external element or a different element. We will talk about this little bit more detail later. So, there is no cross linking in thermoplasts there is no such cross linking we will see that in thermoset such cross linkings are there. So, in thermosets there are primary bonds or cross links between the chains. So, these these cross links are also primary bonds. So, these bonds do not break on heat or heating, so softening does not take place. So, they cannot be molded by heating, once their shape is set after um, making the polymer and setting it for the first time their shape is set. So, that is why they are called thermo set by heating these uh, primary bonds do not break and cannot be overcome and so the deformation or molding is not easy. So, these are called thermosets. Let us look at some example of thermoplasts. So, all the vinyl polymers which we were talking about all of them are actually thermoplasts and four of the most important the so called big four. So, these are big four thermoplasts. polyethylene, polypropylene, polystyrene and polyvinyl chloride. 
they actually constitute about 85 percent of the thermoplast market. A really interesting example of a thermoset is a Bakelite. You can see in the Bakelite monomer which is shown here, this is the hmm, aromatic or benzene ring, three of the hydrogens are substituted by CH2 group and one hydrogen is substituted by the OH group. And these CH2 groups then have one free bonds to connect with. other monomers, but since each monomer unlike polyethylene where each monomer had only two free bonds. So, it grew in a linear way here each monomer has three free bonds. So, you can see that it will grow in a network structure and which will naturally be cross linked. The chains will not be free, but will have if uh, suppose, suppose this with addition of monomer this chain is growing this way, but this will then be cross linking to some other chain in the structure. So, these get a net networked or cross linked structure, this was in fact Bakelite, Bakelite was one of the first polymers developed around 1905 by an inventor called Leo Bakeland. This was one of the first synthetic polymers developed by mankind. 